Colloquiate, which is where we are today, is one of the 14 Nutanath nations. Since moving here about three years ago, I could probably name, you know, on one hand, the amount of Nutanath surfers that I've seen in the water. So there hasn't been a lot of representation for many different reasons, and that's something that Rising Tide or Muthla is trying to overcome. The crown that you walk on is made up from the dust of your ancestors. So when you walk on this earth, you walk slowly with honor. My dad, Bruce Frank, his course name is Muchnik. He started off with the chant. The chant is for to protect us and make sure we're safe on the water. Our connection to the water is through our spirits. It cleanses our mind, body, and spirits at the same time. It refreshes our purpose and our being. I love to see the youth out on the water because it helps with that connection to Mother Earth and the ocean. The reason why I brought the feather down was because if you look at it, it's all rocky. But if you add some water to it, it holds everything together. So when you come out, you'll start feeling like a whole person. As Kluwesh people, as Native people, our um, relationship to the ocean is, is, is very strong. It's very spiritual. It's very sacred. All the life sources that are in the ocean, there's a lot of things out there that is very, very powerful. To see them get out there and having just so much light and life in them, I mean, I think, you know, I watch that and that gives me hope, right? Like, and I think they don't have to experience, you know, what I've experienced or, you know, their parents or their grandparents, right? Like, hopefully they can remain this free. My favorite thing about surf school is swimming. I really love swimming. I like swimming through the water and it like, kind of like heals me. I think it's important because we're connecting to the land, the water, and the water is much more powerful than you. For me as an Indigenous artist, I got into photography and storytelling because I really wanted to remove the stigma from us as Indigenous people. I think that, you know, the world has seen us as drunk, needy, you know, no good Indians. For me, as a storyteller, it was like, I needed to show the world that we're not just our struggles, you know, that we're so much more. It's important to have Indigenous faces or people of color in the water so Nutanath youth can look at those faces and be like, oh, that person looks like me, that's something I can do and then have that as something they can strive toward. The rising tide signifies this, this, whole, this, this whole rise as Indigenous people. It's not about being seen, it's about what you feel. There's this rise happening and it can't be stopped. It is unstoppable and it is beautiful, it's empowering. <laughs> 